Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk about SuperThread pages. So pages inside of SuperThread, just like tasks, are a first-class citizen. You can find them here in the sidebar. So here I'm looking at a space called product and you can see at the top we have a bunch of boards but underneath this line we can find the pages contained inside of the space. As you can see a lot of these pages have an expand button and the reason is is because they have sub pages. So if I click here on the specs, you can see all the sub pages that are contained inside of this particular page. So if I click on one of these sub pages like sprints, um, here's how it looks. If I collapse this so we can see a bit better, you can see the table of contents on the right hand side or you can see my icon on the left. My icon being here on the left means that we can collaborate in real time with other people. If I highlight a piece of text, you can do various things. So I can, for example, t turn this into a card. I can use an AI assistant to rewrite this for me if I want. I can change its format. But also something that's very, very powerful is I can comment on it. And that means I can write an inline comment. Okay. And then if you click on this, you can reply in line. Okay. And then here, up there at the top, you can see all the comments which are part of this page. I can also comment straight on the page. That's really cool. So I may not be commenting on any piece of text, but I can just go straight on the page. I can also resolve these comments. I can also give them an emoji and then resolve them, of course. Okay, so that's how comments work inside of pages. Apart from the very powerful editing features and the commenting features, we also have a very a cool at mentions feature. That means you can mention anyone. You can mention a member a page, a card, or anything you like. So if I go here, I can say, Brennan, can you take a look at this? And then he'll get a notification inside of the inbox, which says that I mentioned them inside of this page. But also I can mention a page, for example, sprints, specification, or a card. So if I click here, see that? And then I can go straight to that page by clicking on it on just to go back, just like so. Okay, so that's basically how pages work. Um, the other cool feature that's worth mentioning is the slash command. And that allows you to do very many things. Uh, for example, you can embed an ima image or like a YouTube video, uh, checklist, table, uh, whatever you like. You can also just paste images and videos straight inside of this page and they'll just be like a, um, an embedded video and y they, people can just start play playing them by just clicking on the play button. All right, so, um, and the last thing that's worth mentioning about this page is that you can actually share them to the web. So if you click here, you'll get a link for this page that can be viewed by anybody on the web. And then if you, further to that, uh, click on search engine indexing, uh, it will be indexed by the search engines and findable by the search engines. So um, the use for that is, for example, here with us, we have a changelog that's shared to the web and we link that on our site. You can also do a blog, you can do various things. Oh, here you can see Brennan, that's, he's actually editing it in real time. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.